I sent a memo out, sorry you didn't get it till about lunchtime today, but we were all kind of busy with the storm last week. So basically every year at the end of the fiscal year, if there's any money remaining in the uh, employee separation cost line item or the bank buyback program line item of the budget, the board has authority under um, a warrant article in 2009, warrant article number 30 to transfer that balance to the compensated leave trust fund that's held by the uh, trustees of the trust funds. This year, uh, between those two line items, the net money left was $40,187.84. Um, I broke down there for you. The bank buyback line had $190,000 as a budget and was $204,410 was spent from that line. And the employee separation cost had a budgeted amount of 212 and 150 212,000 sorry and 157,401 dollars was spent. So that nets out to 40,187.84 that is available to be transferred to the compensated leave trust fund if the board chooses to do so. Um, I also added a paragraph there just explaining what the employee separation cost line item is for and what the bank buyback program is for. Uh, employee separation is just any employees who retire or leave their employment with the town if they're owed any of their sick uh, vacation or leave time it is paid out to them from that line item in the budget and the bank buyback program is available to both uh, union and non-union members and it's either the sick or leave time depending on what category of um, employee you're dealing with and it's different guidelines in both the union contracts and the personnel policy for the non-union members in regards to how much balance the employee has to have before they can sell back and it can be used to pay for things such as insurance, convert to vacation time, make contributions to their 457 or a cash uh, payout to cover education costs. So that kind of gives you some history there um, what those line items are for. And also I included uh, at the two time of the 2016 audit the Compensated absence long term liability for the town was one million three hundred and fifty four thousand seven hundred and sixty six dollars. So tried to bury you with facts. So that's what I have. Questions? I have no questions, thank you. Rusty. No, I just one of the things looking through the town report in part of the um, annual money that we pay out to the employees. Um, that's part of what the the money that some of these people have made is the buyout correct correct okay so it's not that they're making big money you know the reason they oh, are absolutely making not no you're talking about yeah. the town report yes when right. they received um a lot of them who have been here multiple years and stuff have money that they can sell back and so that does have to be included with the wages and we usually gray that out so people will notice it's not all strictly uh base salary okay thank you. it is included in there thanks for all the facts Bill. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. So this is the uncompensated fund balance, correct? This is the compensated leave trust fund. It's the official name on the okay. MS9. And uh, on the on the balance sheet, it shows a liability of how much? Uh, one point three million. Okay. Almost and, one point four. And so that is a liability. Yes. And that is an audited liability. Correct. As it stands now, that the town owes, and is that funded? Um, four hundred and ninety-two thousand one hundred and thirty dollars and seventy-nine cents was the balance in the compensated leave trust fund. Okay, and at the end of seventeen, I, I would just say this to the board, and I'm I'm going ashore, as they say, uh, very soon in the next couple of weeks, and I've I've said this publicly before. Uh, I don't like uh, the way that this is recorded uh, in the town. I think that uh, taxpayers and uh, um, citizens. And employees should know that that money is set aside in a fund that is fully funded. We have a pension fund that is underfunded by hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars for state employees. We've had the state walk away for it from their obligations. And I think that the town of Hampton should actually fully fund those obligations. I think it is um, uh, not consistent with GASPI requirements and reporting requirements for depreciation that we've instituted. I think it's inconsistent with GASPI requirements that we've instituted in this board to fully record the 20 something million dollars we have in unfunded pension obligations. Uh, and the, the public is not warned properly. And I think it benefits the employees. 
I, I know it benefits the taxpayers that, that that money should be set aside. This is my personal opinion, but I think it's perfectly consistent with best practices in financial management. And I think just simply to have something underfunded by hundreds of thousands of dollars, and then we have to sweep that money. And this is an obligation that the town has to its employees, and it's an important one. And if it's that important and it's that honorable, then I think it should be fully funded and that our financial practices should be executed in a much better fashion with help perhaps from our auditors uh, to guide the board or future board if they choose to do so. But that's my opinion, and I think it's an important uh, change that, uh, and an important delta that we should execute in this town to, to uh, satisfy that obligation. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Director. How much did we transfer <coughs> last year to this? A hundred and seventy one thousand two hundred and forty two dollars and seventy eight cents. And we transferred for that from from these two lines, the balance in those line items last year. Okay. We had a lot of employees uh retire in seventeen, so therefore there's not as much money left on those line items this year. Okay. So do I have a motion to I will move. Second. All in favor? Opposed? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank Anything you. else? That's all I have. All right. Thank you. Thanks.